and good day. Andy here with Pop Yachts. We're ready for a cruising adventure. We've got a rare find with a two owner version. 1977 Thompson. This is the 44 foot trawler they built. Very versatile design. Dual cabins, nice aft cabin at the rear, full onboard head. It's powered by a Caterpillar 3208, naturally aspirated, inboard diesel motor. Onboard power consists of Westerbeek's 8KW Gen Set. Nice electric anchor windlass up front. Nice wide 15 foot beam. Plenty of walking room on deck. This owner's had it for its last 15 years of its life. Bottom paint's been reapplied every five years. Hull sides and top sides were all redone with perfection paint. You got 660 gallon fuel capacity. That's uh, two 330 gallon tanks. And then 150 gallons of fresh water in two 75 gallon tanks. With the 3208 motor, you're cruising between seven and a half and eight knots at 1800 RPM, uh, depending on loading conditions. Uh, ranges in fuel use from three and a half to five gallons an hour. Love that cabin design. Dual air conditioners. You've got added on dinghy davits. Nice little dinghy too. Looks like a lot of fun and an extended, about two foot longer, uh, starboard swim platform. All the running gear is protected by the bottom. You've got a wet keel. Shore power connections, TV, stereo system, full navigation as well. All the hatches have been resealed. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Access doors on both sides of the salon. Plenty of headroom in here, as well as floor space and storage. Love the wood flooring. And a nice big hatch to get down to the engine bay. Two TVs, one in the main salon and another in the aft cabin. Got a lounger, full chart table with storage underneath and some additional cabinets as well. Take a quick peek since there's some stuff on there. Nice size sofa. And behind this bike here, you can see the dinette table. That hinges up for eating purposes. Simple and effective helm layout. You got your breaker control panel on this side. Nice stainless steel wheel clear gauges. Um, engine hours are reading 2395 and yes those are original. Uh, added on is a 12 volt bow thruster by Lumar. You've got an autopilot system and computer operated plotter screen as well as Ferrono's GPS navigator and then a Ferrono navnet radar system. Standard Horizons, Eclipse, VHF radio, and a nice Sony stereo system. If you like to sit while underway, you've got a fold-up seat there. Let's move forward first down into the galley. Split design with a prep area and cooking area on this side. Three burner stove, oven, lots of deep cabinets vent fan and light, uh, newer sharp carousel microwave, as well as a nice size fridge with freezer. All those beers look delicious and cold. More cabinets. Up top and a dual basin sink, again with more counter space over here to starboard. And uh, if the forward cabin guests want to have privacy, this closet door opens up. 
nice sleeping space, storage underneath, as well as bow thruster access, nice natural lighting, uh, 12 volt lighting, and circulation fans too. Another hanging locker here. Grab handles right where you need them. And the AC is blowing very cold and comfortable. Moving aft, again, grab handles on both sides. Three steps down. You got a workbench and storage space over on the starboard side. Take a quick peek into the aft cabin. Very spacious design. Got a queen size mattress, walking space along both sides. Spacious head as well. Full bathtub. Newer toilets installed with a nice uh, rear tan electrosan system for uh, waste treatment instead of a smelly holding tank. Counter space around the sink and storage above and below, as well as a nice size mirror. Here's our second flat panel TV. Privacy door closes off the cabin. You got four large dresser drawers in this dresser. And then wrap around lockers all the way. Tons and tons of space. Very, the perfect design actually for a full-time liveaboard. Uh, these owners have used it to cruise up and down the East Coast between Florida and New York. Even some more space by the headboard. Clean and comfortable, no funny smells or odors. Very well kept for a 1977 model trawler. If you're looking for an adventure, look no further. Let's go ahead and check out the engine room. All right, four steps down into the engine room. Lots of space down here. Got room to work on all sides of the motor. Easy access to the exhaust. Three new 8D batteries put in the beginning of 2020. Easy access to the strainers and through holes. We even got washer and dryer units down here. In this center box is the onboard 8KW Westerbeek generator. Nice sound barrier for it for a much quieter operation. All the motor mounts look good. Full maintenance records and upkeep. Again, this is the second owner with this. They've loved it for the last 15 plus years. Nice size water heater. And so you don't have to run the generator to keep the refrigerator cool. You've got a 2000 watt power inverter. One more slow pan around the motor. Take some time, check out all of the high resolution photos we have posted on popyachts.com and give me a call today. My name is Andy, happy to answer any specific questions you have about this beautiful Thompson 44. I know you'll be impressed in person. Look forward to meeting you for a walkthrough tour. Let's get you out on the water, cruising, and having fun. Talk to you soon. Let's go ahead and fire up the motor here. Take a quick peek back at the exhaust and then we'll go in under the engine hatch. Just a very the Cat 3208s. Looks like good water flow. And this is a split exhaust. 
chugging away nicely. Go ahead and open up that hatch in there. Just a little bit. I'll do a quick walk around. You can hear the uh, very low volume, even inside. Good insulation around the whole engine room. We've got a digital depth gauge as well. Thank you.